After seven months, we finally finished our cozy, charming little kitchen makeover. We started with the most charming but very plain backdrop, and after months of curating art, virtually planning the gallery wall, sourcing decor, and dragging my loved ones into it, we got there. Let's start from the beginning. Hi, cozy friends. So we have been in this apartment for six, seven months at this point. We have had a functional, you know, cutesy kitchen. We've zhuzhed it up enough, but it hasn't been finished. I did have like such a specific vision for it when we moved in, especially with like the checkered floors. I'll put some, some inspo pictures up, just cutesy, vintage, very Pinterest inspired. So I'm gonna take you along while we do the finishing touches to our kitchen. Oh, I'm so excited. I was so excited for it to finally take shape in the vision that I've had for it. First, I'll give you like a tour of where it's at right now. Let's go. So this is the kitchen as it stands today. We have this cute, adorable little built-in with not a lot going on up here because we don't have anything to fill it and we don't just wanna stuff it with useless stuff. We wanna wait to find some stuff we really love. Down here is all stuff we love and wanna keep. We have some alcohol down here. Over here is our little coffee cart. We love this thing. We use it every day and I feel like it fits the aesthetic perfectly. Maya spent like a day building this, so thank you, Maya. We wanna add some shelving up here with some prints and some decor and that's all the shelving that we've had is just sitting here for months and then on these walls we just want to do some art maybe some more shelving and then this is where we want to do the gallery wall this is more of our functional kitchen we love it we're going to keep it this way but this is the kitchen area we really want to spend time on it's like environmental it's where we sit and eat and the sun comes in really nicely and that's why we want to spend so much more time and effort just decorating this space as opposed to our functional kitchen that we're going to use no matter what whether it looks pretty or not so let's get started first things first is this little coffee syrup holder slash Lazy Susan turntable situation. I saw it on Amazon and I was like, I have to have that. I didn't have to have it, but you know what I mean? I had to have it. Once the frames for the prints that I did have started coming in, I was like, we need to get our butt into gear and start planning this gallery wall for the prints that we don't have yet. So that's what we did. Okay, how do we build on this girl? Nice. Right? I know what's staying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. I think pretzel doesn't go. And also mm. redundant because oysters. Would do we want to shut on this wall, this wall? And oyster on another wall? Mm, maybe. Oh, so we spread out the fish or? Oh, spread out the fish. Oh, hang it. Oh. Like a, like a, like a pothos type. Oh my god. Or goodness. I've got one cooking in the room right now. Yeah. So ready to be potted. And maybe a leaf bowl or something. Yeah. Cabot, the tomato uh, salt and pepper shakers. Mm. Well, we've done some great work here, folks. Good job, team. You didn't help at all, but you did in a way. Here's the main wall, side wall, cafe wall, coffee wall. Woo! We'll catch you on the flip side. Hey y'all. So I downloaded all of the art. One of the things that I feel like some people don't know, you can just go to like a FedEx. I think UPS also does printing, but I usually go to FedEx. You email them the files and then they'll ask like what size and like what paper. Easy peasy. I'm gonna just see if UPS can do it. I'm gonna go to UPS for some packages because I gotta do that anyways and then see if I can print it there. If not, I'm gonna go to FedEx. Let's go, come on. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but kitchens are like my favorite part of a home. I feel like that's true for most people. I feel like the kitchen's where you gather and it's like kitchen first, living room second, especially now at this age when I'm like slowly getting to the time when I like am starting to think about looking for houses. <laughs> There's a lot of steps before the actual house comes. It's like starting to think about looking for houses. I absolutely love the kitchen we're in. Like if I could transport the kitchen we have in this apartment to future home of mine, I totally would, but I would want it to be opened out into like the living room. The checkered floors, the built-ins, the like scalloped edges on the built-ins. I just love, I just love all of that. The tiling and everything. There's a long line at UPS, so I'm just <laughs> I'm procrastinating going in at this point, but I gotta go, I gotta go. They didn't have poster printing. I got my packages at least, but they did not have poster prints. Crossing my little fingies that FedEx will do in. And I think they will. They're like meant to be a printing center. I'll let you know. All right. Y'all, I got them. 
I got them. They look perfect. The Task Rabbiter is coming at 1.30. It's currently 12.57. I feel like that's just one of those things. Like I've been putting this off for so long, but like the deadline of this video made me do it. And like all of the things were just so easy. Like it was so simple to do, to just like hire the Task Rabbiter, go print the stuff, like order the frames and the prints. Like all of it was so much easier than I was making it up to be in my head. <laughs> so like, I don't know y'all, if you have little, a little project like this, like a little makeover project you've been like putting off or like it's the last part of your kind of home reno, setting up your apartment. If you have like last remaining things that you just like haven't done, set one day aside, like set a deadline for yourself. I promise it will take a weight off your shoulders and you'll be so much happier for it. So excited. Okay, I'll see you then. Gila, the task rabbit is gone. You don't have to freak out anymore. Also y'all, our cozy sponsor for this kitchen makeover is Desenio and they have art that I just like fawn over. I've had on my wish list for like months and months and months. And so I'm so excited that we get to partner with them to put some art up on these walls. Finally, Desenio is a Swedish brand. They have designers based in Stockholm, like in-house designers that they use to make all of their art or like source their art. And they have such a wide range of art. It's high quality, it's affordable, and it's always in line with like the most recent interior design trends. Obviously they have like some classic stuff. They have like everything. You just have to go check it out. But if you're looking for like the most in-trend art style, they have it, which I love. Cause I see something on Pinterest and I'm like, I wonder if Desenio has it. They do, <laughs> they absolutely do. They really have something for like everyone, every style. So we're gonna work on planning those, putting those up, but you can use my code COZYK to get 45% off any prints and 10% off any frames. And that's until March 30th at midnight. Yay, let's go plan. The tasker just left. We now have shelves over here. We've got two shelves up here, and then we have a little bar for hanging things, hanging mugs and stuff. And it's, it's looking like, it's looking like a room now. With the, with the prints we do have, I want to start getting those up and ready to go. <laughs> You're in trouble. <laughs> Here's the Desenio prints, but first we have this one. Ooh. Okay, then we have the checkered sardines, which goes very well with the floors. We've got two more sardine art. <laughs> so many sardine art. So this is the art for elsewhere in the house. Little hand drawn moment. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. I think the tail is still Right here, got a little boot right here. We cleaned up this area a little bit. That's spring or summer, mm -hmm. fall, Love fall, it. fall, winter. winter. Yes, look at that. Oh. A bunch of the new prints came in for the kitchen. We can finally finish the gallery. Wow, I'm so excited. <laughs>
Well, it is 520. It's 520. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I hate to interrupt. Well, it's, you're doing a really good job. Thank you. And then that one. Sardines! I, sardines! You look great! Oh, thanks. This can be higher. Hey, how you doing? Just go here in great hands. I did the concrete one on this one. That thing's in there. Oh, yeah, it is. And it doesn't go that far in. I thought I was done. I'm not. Come out. I know it doesn't make sense because I'm hammering and pulling, but leave me alone. Stay. Okay, so I did it kind of. We'll see what Kennedy thinks. I don't know if it's too crowded or not. And I think I might move the table like over there a little bit so it makes more sense. I don't know. Then I put my favorite one up, which is soup. I don't know if you've had the pleasure of hearing my soup rants before, but you'll hear them soon if you haven't yet. That's it. Okay, y'all, it has been seven months. It was more like one month of actual work and then the other seven months were just us like slowly accumulating things, but seven months in the making. <laughs> we finally, finally finished everything, put the last finishing touches on things, and this is our finished kitchen. Yay! <laughs> okay, so over here, where should we start? I'm asking you. You're asking <laughs> me. <laughs> yeah, where should we start? It's gonna be between coffee area and gallery wall. Let's start coffee area. Maya put together this, as you know. Maya put together the, the little coffee station like four-ish months ago, maybe. Thank you, Maya. It took like all day. Oh, the update is that we added these things. I don't think that we, we did that on camera, but we added the pumps to, to most everything. So we don't have to like take it out and you just pump it and that's done. And then we have our mugs here. They're not all here because some are in the, in, the, in the dishwasher. Thrifted fun mugs. We put them all here. The Smeg kettle that Ryan got. Thanks Ryan. We have the life is better in the garden print. We have our little cabbage bowls that I love so much. And then we have this that I thrifted. Our little tomato um, salt and pepper shakers that I got from Target. Little boot that I also got from Target. <laughs> this is Maya got it at some craft festival. It's a very cute little Little, little rabbit giving like cottage right then we have our croissant print which i feel like is the focal point of this wall we have our like fake plants i mean fake veggies we have our fake veggies we have another fake plant right here and then we have our make soup print that is for maya maya is the soup person in the household over here we have chila boy he's a permanent fixture in the kitchen chila how do you feel about the kitchen it's kind of harsh chila Tough crowd. We got a Zula. <laughs> the kitchen table we thrifted from somebody in Oakland when we lived in Oakland. It was like 40 bucks for the whole set. Um, she was a very nice lady. She gave us uh, some linen tablecloths, threw them in because they were moving, threw it in with the table. Very sweet lady. I miss her. And then we have these uh, placemats that I got in Spain from Muy Mucho, a decor shop called Muy Mucho that I wish they had in the US. These are those, and I only got two of them because I couldn't fit more, and I'm really sad that I only got two of them because now I only have two and I can't get more because they're, yeah, they're not in the US. What else? Oh, we have these little um, chair cu cushions, H&M. I think they're both from H&M actually, but the cats sit on them all day and sleep on them, so they're full of hair. Um, this, this little checkered tablecloth is from Target. I feel like it really 
pulls in the cutesy, kitschy, cozy, cottagey vibes, right? We have the Coke <laughs> bottle candle that Ryan and Maya make fun of, but I think it's cute because yeah. the candle matches the Coke bottle color, and I just like the little vintagey look that it adds in here. We have a tiny little set, it holds our sugar. And then we have these little cabbage salt and pepper shakers. You might be saying, I thought you already had salt and pepper shakers. We do, no comments. Over here, we have our storage, which will eventually hold wine bottles, but we don't have any wine in the house right now. So for now, it's holding our like little wine goblets. And then these cute things that I got from, um, I think it's called like Tiger. It's some chain in the, in, the, in the EU, whatever that one is. It's very cute. They have like just cutesy little trinkets. And then we have our little sardine print here. Okay. <laughs> and then over here, we have just our huge storage of built-ins that we actually haven't filled in. We need to, but I don't want to just get things just to fill it. I want to get things that like we actually like. Um, so this is not super staged or nice, but it exists here and it's very cute. And I like these little scalloped things on the built-ins. I have these plates that I found in Barcelona at a restaurant we were eating. And I was like, where are these plates from? And then I was searching everywhere for them, where I can get them. And I only found them at like a, like a Spanish department store. So then I ordered them online and I had them delivered. And the shipping was more than the plates themselves. They weren't that expensive, but they're just really cute. They're so cute, I love them. So that's that, and then soup was thrifted. And then this is one of my personal favorite parts of the house. It's just so cute, like it just gives like such cottage, cutesy Diane Keaton's home in a, in a rom-com or something, I love it. So we have our little cookbooks lined up here. We have some seeds that we will never <gasps> cut. <laughs> we have some seeds that we will never use, but they're there. Well, maybe we'll use them, I don't know. And then these cute little lights. I love these guys. Another cabbage plate that I took from my mom. Our little cookbook stand for cookbooking. This pot, one of my favorites from Flamingo Estate. It was like a limited edition thing and they don't sell them anymore. Sad. And then another cookbook, food time, and some uh, magazines that we have recipes saved in. Down here is some extra alcohol. Here is just random storage. Here is Ryan's uh, protein powders. <laughs> Last but not least is the gallery wall. My main vision for this kitchen in the little kitchen nook was the gallery wall because I just think it's so cute and cozy. This little like hand-drawn situation. This is Dissinio. This is from Etsy, little Yes Chef. <laughs> little, the bear reference. Little sardines from Dissinio. Little dip trays. I don't remember where these are from. I think I got them from like Walmart or something. We got this from this like French market uh, close by. Cute little prints. I'll put where I got them from. I don't remember, but they're like hand printed. This is from Etsy. This is from Dissinio. This might be from a separate site. I'll link it. <laughs> This is from Decinio, Decinio, Etsy, um, and I think that one was also Decinio. Anyways, I'll, I'll link all of the arts, but we liked this combination of frames and colors, so we're bringing out just like food-related themes. We've got lemons, we've got fruits, we've got... Pasta. Pasta, thank you. We've got lots of fish and lots of sardines, and I just love the little gingham e picnic table pattern and lemons. Those are like my favorite kitchen themes are like lemons and gingham patterns. That's the whole dang thing. Oh wait, no, wait. This was like a, a last minute thing we weren't planning on doing, but we were like, we need a bar. So we found this print to fill up this wall, very bar related, add some color, add some pop of color when you walk in the house. This is the front door's right here. And then Maya, Maya, did Maya put this together or you did? Maya put together a little smattering of alcohols and then we have a little alcohol free cocktail book. Um, and then this is a little thrifted vanity that we took the mirror off of. Yeah, that's the kitchen. That's everything. Well, actually this is the kitchen, but I'm not gonna show you it because it's very messy right now. But this is like the kitchen we wanted to decorate. This is just the functional kitchen. It's cute, it's fine, but it's the functional kitchen. Um, but thank you for coming along with us on this kitchen transformation journey. It was a lot for like a short period of time. It was a lot, but we, we did it. We did it. It was teamwork. I love it. I'm so happy with it. Thank you. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.